my name is Daimur Khan. I'm the director of the Winter Star Party here at Big Pine Key. An astrophotographer is basically somebody who points a camera to the sky and tracks the sky and takes long exposures. Uh, sometimes these exposures um, can last m over several days. So we might start and take 10 minute exposures and take 100 10 minute exposures in one night and then continue in another night and, an, and even a third night. And we'll take all these images and put them together to get a photograph. Uh, and the photograph will reveal things you just cannot see with your naked eye looking through a telescope. The light is so dim that it takes hours or even perhaps days to gather all that light to make the image. So you cannot just see it instantly with your, with your eye. When I first got into the hobby, it used to be, oh, let me see how many I can do in one night. And it's the other way around. I would try to do three images in one night. But you don't get a good image. You get very grainy, noisy images when you do that. The trick is to do one object over three nights. A favorite is the Orion constellation. Where Bellatrix is, the top star, you'll, is the head of Alfred Hitchcock. And you'll see an arc, which is called Bernard's Loop, that is the stomach. And then he, you have an arm, a very faint reddish arm, and Beetlejuice is like the cigar that he typically smokes. So that's why we call it the Alfred Hitchcock Nebula. This is Omega Centauri in the Centauri constellation. This is one of the largest globular clusters with millions of stars in it. Don't know exactly how many millions, but there are several million stars in this cluster all orbiting each other. The neat thing about it, they say, scientists say, is if our solar system was inside that cluster, it would never be dark. It would always be, there will always be light. It's a very interesting cluster. Everybody loves to come down and see it because it's so big and, and large. It's the largest one that uh, we get to see. This is a great place to have a star party. We have a lot of people that come down, about 600 astronomers that set up the telescopes on, our, on the beaches because it's one of the southernmost places where you can see objects that are below 67 degrees declination, which basically means we can see certain objects that you just cannot see anywhere else in the continental United States. So because of that, it draws a lot of people down to point their telescopes low in the horizon and see objects such as Eta Carina which is one of the largest nebulas that are out there. So here at the Winter Star Party, you, you'll notice that we don't use uh, regular flashlights. We use a red flashlight. And the reason why we use a red flashlight is because your eyes get dark adapted and it takes roughly 25 minutes for your eyes to be truly adapted to the dark. You are at the mercy of the weather. Your mercy had the equipment. <laughs> There's, you know, things go wrong. Even the wires hanging off the scope can cause trailing in the stars because you're following the stars. So the, the, the motion of the stars going across uh, the night sky is so smooth and so precise that there is really not much man-made mechanical equipment that can accurately move in the same way. It is a form of art in its own right, in its own way, because people, p different people have different ways of m manipulating the data and showing the photograph or uh, how they do it or what, what, how they image it. And each one is a little bit different.